Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trends and welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be all about how we can teach you to understand the WhatsApp iCloud backup process because there's a few things to know when you need to update your WhatsApp to iCloud to keep it nice and secure in that backup. But before we start today's video, if you've never been to this channel before, then what have you been doing? Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we have coming up on the channel because what we do here at Mobile Trend is do unboxings of the latest tech and give you some great tips and tricks on how to make your tech life easier. But if you've done all of that, let's get into today's video. If you use WhatsApp and an iPhone, then when you back up your WhatsApp chats, where they get stored is in that iCloud backup. And a few of you might not really even know that that is the way that this process works. But essentially, to keep all your chats safe and able to kind of retrieve them at any time or move from one iPhone to another, to do that process, you need to use that iCloud WhatsApp backup. And a lot of you might ask, well, how do I do this iCloud WhatsApp backup? And that is what we're going to show you in today's video. And in fact, let's show you straight away in our first method on how you would go about using your WhatsApp, going to settings and doing that WhatsApp iCloud backup. Okay, first of all, grab your iPhone and go and open WhatsApp. Then when you're inside WhatsApp, go to that settings options through the bottom right of your screen. Then continue to select the option of chats and then it will open up that new screen. Proceed to the chat backup option for backing up your WhatsApp data to the iCloud account linked to that iPhone. Then tap on backup now to initiate that backup process for your WhatsApp. You can include or exclude videos by turning the include videos toggle on or off and then turn on your auto backup option if you want to try and back up your WhatsApp data when you've already gone to bed. This way, every time you plug your phone in when you sleep, your WhatsApp backups will then just get automatically updated and then you never have to think about losing your WhatsApp chats ever again. Another way to make sure that your WhatsApp backups all get included in iCloud is to go into the iPhone setting and do it a slightly different way. Every time you plug your phone into its charging cable, every night your phone will take a local backup of everything that is stored on that iPhone. And this is what we want to do because we want to make sure that those WhatsApp backups are included in that iCloud backup as well. So. Follow the next steps and I'll show you exactly how we do it. Launch your iPhone and access the settings of your device. Then continue to tap on the name that appears on the top of the screen. Select iCloud from the options appearing on the next screen to continue into its settings. Then on that next screen, tap on the show all option under the apps using iCloud section. Then look for what's up in that list and just ensure that the toggle is turned on for that automatic backup. That way, every time your iPhone backs up to iCloud overnight, it will just ensure that your WhatsApp data is also backed up to the iPhone's backup. From time to time, what we found out is that when you want to go and do one of those WhatsApp backups to iCloud, sometimes that process will get stuck and it's a really frustrating time because you have all of your really important media, your videos, your audios, your pictures, and those chats that you need to make sure that are uploaded to that iCloud backup at all times. So if you're facing some of these problems, then follow the next couple of steps and hopefully what will happen is that we can solve that problem for you because these are the most common mistakes. And firstly, let's start with just just checking the iCloud storage and making sure that you have enough storage for the WhatsApp backup because sometimes your WhatsApp can contain gigabytes of personal information and if your iCloud storage is running low that's why you can't back it up to iCloud. If you're having this problem you need to go into settings and tap on your name and access the iCloud option. Then you can check the storage available and just verify if the WhatsApp backup size is covered within that limit. If not, Sometimes you will have to go ahead and purchase some more iCloud storage to make sure all of your backups from WhatsApp are there and secure within iCloud. Sometimes what you'll need to do to clear space is just delete some backups that iCloud already has of your iPhone. And if you know that you have a more recent backup, this becomes nice and easy because all you have to do is go into your settings and delete an older backup because you'll probably never use that backup again. So this is how you would do that. You need to go into settings and again, look for that iCloud option. You just tap your name at the top of the screen. Find the iCloud backup option on the list and look for the backup saved under your iCloud. 
on the selected the device containing the backup, look for the delete and turn off backup option. What this will do is just get rid of all of that space that has been taken up by that iPhone backup. So next time you need to go and do a WhatsApp backup to iCloud, that space is sat there free waiting to go. The next couple of options are essentially turn it off and turn it back on again. And that is to do with your iCloud account itself and those network settings as well. And sometimes you've got a problem with network settings where it's just not working as well as it should. And it's a really simple, easy fix for that because all you need to do is go into your settings and locate the transfer or reset iPhone option. And then you just need to select that reset button. What you do here is just select that reset network settings option and that will resolve all of those problems that you're having with those network if it was a network problem. But like I said, sometimes you just need to sign out and sign in again of iCloud and this is exactly how you would do that. Make sure you just go into your settings and then click that name at the top of the screen and then just scroll all the way down until you see that sign out option. And then once you've signed out of that, just sign back in and then sometimes just signing out of the iCloud is signing back in will just solve those problems that you are having already so hopefully some nice easy fixes if you are having trouble uploading your whatsapp backup to iCloud If using iCloud is not for you, then we have an alternative because our alternative is to use your PC and use a piece of software called Wondershare Mobile Trans. Using Wondershare Mobile Trans is a great alternative to backing up to iCloud. You get bigger space as you're uploading to your own PC and as long as you have a USB cable connected to your iPhone, this process is nice and simple and it is saved personally on your PC. So let me show you exactly what you would need to do using Mobile Trans. Firstly, open Wondershare Mobile Trans on your computer and proceed to connect your device to the computer through that cabled connection. Then, as you access the platform, you need to click the Backup and Restore section from the top. Continue on the screen and select the Backup option from the App Backup and Restore option. Next. The connected device is detected by the platform and then it will lead you to another window and all you have to do here is just click that start button. That will then initiate the process and the backup will begin. All you have to do is be a little bit patient here and just wait because it all depends on how much data you have on your device on the time it will take to back up to your PC. There we go, that is everything for today's video and we've taught you exactly how to back up your WhatsApp to iCloud using some methods and of course if you are having some problems we've taught you exactly how you can fix it. And like I said, you can always use Wondershare Mobile Trans to back up all of your data to your PC quickly, securely, and nice and easily. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, why not give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that notification bell as well. And if you do all of that, we will see you in the next video.